ended up no way. Claymore kick! I'm WWE superstar Drew McIntyre. I've been wrestling now for about 19 years. Started at 15, got signed to WWE at age 21. First ever Scotsman signed to WWE. Spent eight years there and then I got fired. It was my fault. I realized I wasn't putting in as much effort as I possibly could. So that day I changed everything about my life. I started working harder inside the ring and I started working harder, really hard actually, in the gym to change my body. Three years later, I'm back in WWE. I'm main event in WrestleMania for the WWE title. I'm fighting Brock Lesnar. Today, I'm gonna to take you through one of my workouts. You know, our workout schedule for a wrestler is a little different than most people. It depends on uh, how often we're on the road, which is 52 weeks a year. How beat up you are, we have to modify things all the time. And my personal workout, my trainer designs, and I got a trainer, I'm the athlete, is based around size, strength, and performance. So uh, today we got a bit of, a bit of chest, a bit of bicep to make sure we look the part uh, for the show. And this is the exact workout I'm gonna do the day of WrestleMania. All right, you can follow me along as well, so you know, join me and let's just bloody do it. The first exercise we're going to do today is flat bench press. Aside the fact, you know, it builds up the pecs, which is, you know, an essential part of looking good and you know, one of uh, Arnold's favorite exercises. For myself, the way my trainer designed the program um, is a weight that I'm comfortable with, where I don't need a spotter, but still reasonably heavy, just so I can get in get out as quick as possible, but have the most effective workout. And uh, how does this help me in the ring, doing bench press? Well, if anyone's pinning me and I have to kick out. Yeah, I can bench easily anyone in WWE with the weight I lift. When I'm benching, I like to make sure I use a bit of the old mind to muscle, something I kind of learned to perfect over the past few years. Focus really hard on the chest, think about using the chest and only the chest, and then the chest will grow. Seems simple, but hard to master. Okay, the next exercise is a superset. What is that? It means we're gonna do one exercise and immediately follow it with another exercise. It's gonna be dumbbell flies, flat, into flat dumbbell press. Yes, we just did flat bench press prior. Why? Well, my previous program was more incline based, which is the upper part of the chest. This one is focused on developing the mid peg here. So uh, let's get to it. Now for the dumbbell fly, you really want to focus on, one, the range of motion, and then you want to focus on the squeeze at the top. There we go. You want to be able to get a Coke can and put it there eventually and hold it in between those pecs. And with the dumbbell press, make sure you get that full extension. Sometimes, like right now, my elbow's a little bit sore. Sometimes I have to cheat it, but go as far as you possibly can comfortably and get that full range of motion. Okay, so the next exercise. Just like uh, Arnold has said in all his books, you know, I used to read encyclopedia of modern bodybuilding like crazy when I was a kid. Whenever he does chest, he likes to do a bit of back. So whenever I've got a chest day, there's always some light back going on and vice versa. So sometimes you're gonna be in a gym that's not necessarily gonna have everything in your program. We're in a CrossFit gym today, so we've gotta improvise. So instead of pull downs, I'm gonna do some banded pull downs. So no matter what the workout is, you can always think about it, improvise, use your surroundings, and still get an awesome workout. Okay, for the back here, we're gonna do three sets of eight. Okay, the next exercise. Also very essential. Now this is the muscle that when anyone says, show me your muscles, it's the first thing you do. Ever since I was a kid, I only worked on biceps for like the first three years of training. I used to use uh, like two liter bottles of Coca-Cola my Nana gave me until it got too easy. Then she filled them with stones to make them heavier. Until that got easy, I used to do just hundreds of reps to build up my biceps. No other muscle at the time. And then finally, uh, my buddy at the school pointed out, oh, you have other muscles, and we started working out in the gym around age 14, 15. But you want to be able to do one of these guys and blow up the guns. So we're going to work some biceps. Standing, incline curls, three sets of 10. What do I think when I'm doing biceps? I think, come on, Drew, don't be bloody lazy. This is the money maker. So bloody curl. The final exercise of the day. 21s. We're just going to burn out those biceps. It's just to make sure we look the part for today and for WrestleMania. You know, the big show coming up very soon. And uh, what does this help me with in the ring? Well, if you ever watch a Drew McIntyre match, I tend to grab people and I explosively chuck them across the ring. So there's quite a bit of bicep involved there. And sometimes these guys are about 280 pounds. 
So I make sure, you know, I try and get these biceps big, strong, looking good. Okay, what are the 21s? The fun little burnout. This is the way I do them. You start your arms by your side and we go seven halfway and back down. Seven of those guys and then come all the way up and then come back down halfway and back up and down and back up. And then finally for the final seven, full range of motion. By this point, your arms should be on fire. You should be crying, but thankfully it's the last workout of the day. So you're just about to be finished. So just again, as I said over and over, this is the quote of the day, your new motto, just bloody do it. Well then, that was a day in the life of training for Drew McIntyre. Hopefully you enjoyed following along or watching along and watch it first and then follow along. Either way, I've had fun. Hopefully you had fun and hopefully you can learn a few lessons from it. Either the workout itself or just, you know, my life in general and the way I approach everything. You know, I achieved my dreams very young by working very hard and then I lost them and I fell multiple times. And I had to pick myself up and every single time I learned. And that's the biggest thing in life. No matter what you want to do, it doesn't have to be being in WWE, that was my dream. It can be something as simple as getting that promotion at work. I promise you, if you give absolutely every single thing you've got, leave no stone unturned, be able to look yourself in the mirror and know you gave everything you've got, you'll eventually get there. Sometimes when you're about to give up, it's just one more step and you're gonna make it happen. So trust me, just bloody do it.